Welcome back everyone. This is your first experience with Silent Hill. You ain't seen nothing yet. Guessing the first. Should have just pressed the door opening. Nope, 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 nope. It's the other world as described in the first Silent Hill. It's like Someone's delusional nightmare becoming reality. Someone's nightmarish delusion come to life. That's it. It's a million times worse than it was before. So I'm gonna take off my shotgun until further notice. Plenty of bullets. That's one difference between Silent Hill and Resident Evil. Aside the fact that Silent Hill is good, they aren't stingy with the ammo. I'm sure they are on higher difficulties. Oh, what was that? Glass breaking. We're still in the same hospital, but it's different. It's like, it's like the underneath or the upside down from Stranger Things. It's like, it's a reflection of reality. Perhaps in Silent Hill this is reality. And the normal town is just a front. Perhaps that is the illusion. Probably see me checking the map a lot more. Was it the third floor? Something that looks like a refrigerator. <laughs> it's no good. Door's too heavy to open by myself. We played or saw PT, the playable teaser for the now cancelled Silent Hills. <laughs> Refrigerators are never anything nice. Alright, we'll just remove. 
remember that this is back here. I hear you. I don't see you. to tell what's a door in the other world. Alright, a few more doors on that side, nothing on the other side. I think I've already checked all these. Quick, get him! Quick. Oh, get her! Oh, oh Lord. Whew. Shotgun shells. Alright, I can be a little less stingy with my shotgun. This is on normal after all. Fuck, fuck, fuck. He was like locked in his walking animation while he was reloading. <laughs> That's okay. Alright, I did miss one. It's the fourth door from this angle. something else there. No crazy box, but there is this craziness. Dry cell battery and a basement storeroom key. Why are the wallpapers torn? You see something drawn on the wall beneath. Are those hands searching for something? Oh, he said something else. Are they just a sign of pain? Jeez. I was locked up inside the basement's basement. It was so small and dark and I was so afraid. I dropped my precious ring, but I will never ever go back there. Hey pal, I don't blame you. third floor and see if we can find Maria. I think she was in M3. wrong. I think this might be the area where Leonard is, because he's in the other world after all. Maria's not here. She's an angel no one knows. Only I can see the lady of the door. They cannot walk along her bridge of thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. Like bloated and ugly corpses, their sin she devours them. Sin and sinner alike, she saves me. She is an angel. 
think that was supposed to be horribly <laughs> stilted. Where's the labels going on? I can't tell which door is which. Might have been Ray's door, but I don't think so yet. I think this is her room. She's not here. She's gone. Maria's not here. Where could she have gone? Empty medicine bottles here. Is this what Maria was taking? Is Maria sick now too? Just like Mary. How it doesn't tell you what they are. Quite a theme of sickness and of people being bedridden. That's the first real boss after Pyramid Head where patients fuse to their beds, frostbitten black feet. We left Maria on a bed, now she's gone. normal world that won't open here. There's doors that didn't exist in the normal world, but suddenly appear here. Nothing unusual. That has to be the one that I just shot. Can't shoot it again. How he does that, he stays in his walking animation while he's reloading. Oh wow, I should just keep a better eye on my bullets. That's the elevator. But before we go anywhere, I just want to make sure there's nothing in that shower room. Nope, nope. That's what you gotta do with Silent Hill, you just gotta check everything. <sighs> Fuck, I hate these stupid camera angles. Okay, that was it. Yeah, you don't want to be on a different floor and find out you don't have the item you need. Hello, what was that? Oh, the lady. The lady of the door. Painting of a woman on the door. Oddly enough, the hand part of the painting is actually 3D and sticks out. I guess I 
I didn't need to do that. I could have just gone up the stairs. Alright, let's make sure there's nothing up on the roof. This is number two, right? No, oh, it's broken. Hmm. The basement's basement. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't... Oh, God, do you hear that? Yeah, this place wasn't here before. Sounds like a cat screeching. It's not mine either. <laughs> There's a shelf here. There are red handprints on the shelf. I want to see what this is first before I go through. James! Mary? Oh, Maria. It's you. <laughs> I thought you were... Stone cold. Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? What do you mean, anyway? You don't sound very happy to see me. I was almost killed back there. Why didn't you try to save me? All you care about is that dead wife of yours. I've never been so scared in my whole life. You couldn't care less about me, could you? No, I just... Then stay with me. Don't ever leave me alone. You're supposed to take care of me. <laughs> so, what about Laura? Did you find her? Yeah, but... She ran away. We've got to find her. You really seem to care about her. Do you know her? I've never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone. And for some reason, I feel like it's up to me to protect her. Now that you've seen that cutscene, I, I was not exaggerating <laughs> reading the lines the way I did at the very beginning. Glorious overacting. I love it. It's the best. The copper ring. That thing looked a little big for a finger ring, if you know what I mean. Ugh, this is the basement's basement where that guy was locked up. So horrible. The sad part is there really were places like this in real life. The mental patients were just abused. Ugh, that freaking noise. Alright, Maria, I need your help with something. Oh. How did I get on the elevator before? Oh. So there actually are two elevators. Whoa. 
I think it's the second floor we want to go to. <gasps> What's this? Hi there, everybody! Thanks for tuning in! Welcome to another exciting edition of Trick or Treat! Trick or Treat, the homoerotic 80s movie? Oh no. And our lucky, or should I say unlucky challenger today is James. James Sunderland! Are you ready to play trick or three? I guess. Here's your first question. Merry-go-round, haunted house, roller coaster, ferris wheel, and teacup. Silent Hill is home to a thrilling amusement park that both children and adults love. <laughs> the question is, what is the name of this amusement park? Lakeside. One, Lakeside for 600. Two, Silent Hill Amusement Park. Three, Lakeside Amusement Park. Okay, quickly, on to question number two. Silent Hill witnessed a gruesome murder a few years back. <laughs> Just one. My brother and sister were playing in the road mm -hmm. when they were attacked and chopped into pieces with an axe. Born smashed bones, splattered blood, and finally... Ooh, all of that and more. What a terrible tragedy. What a gruesome end to such innocent lives. What was the name of the murderer who committed this vile Remember the strange One. garbage? Walter Sullivan. Walter Sullivan. Two. Scott Fairbanks. Three. Eric Gay. Now for our third and final question. South of the lake is a deserted old neighborhood called South Vale. From there to Pale Vale, the central resort area northwest of the lake, there's only one road only you can one take. Road. Just one road. No more. The third and final question is, what is the name of that road? Nathan Bach Avenue. Bachman Road. Two, Rindell Street. Three, Nathan Avenue. Well, that's the last of our questions. Have you got it all figured out? When you know the answers, I think so. head to the storeroom on the third floor to collect your prizes. Storeroom on the third be floor. careful if you're wrong. <laughs> well then, everybody, thanks for tuning in. See you again sometime. Bye-bye. What was that? It really happened. All right, we'll remember that. Storeroom on the third floor. The answers are 313. open it? Yeah. Maria, give me a hand here. Come on. You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's I'm... a little girl like me supposed to help? I'm just a desk clerk. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what James's job was. He was like a concierge of a hotel. What's this? Not very cute, is it? Here, James. You take it. Mm, thanks. Hmm, books. Lead ring, ooh. It's gonna leech poison into me. A hideous smell is coming from inside. I bet. Well, that's really all we need here. Pretty sure no new rooms opened up for us. Yeah, we can't go up that way. I would like to go to the storeroom on the third floor. I want to win a trick or treat. Yeah, there's this movie. I only found out about it because it was featured on the Halloween episode of Best of the Worst, the Red Letter Media 
show on YouTube. You love shitty B movies as much as I do, I'm sure you'll love it too. But yeah, I watched the movie after they covered it. And none of them touched on the extreme homoeroticism of it, I'll tell you that much. But yeah, this like this kid. Okay, that's the storeroom. This like metalhead kid looks up to this guy who used to go to his school, he's not like this big rock star, and the guy's also a Satanist, and he's in an interview where he says that the schools are brainwashing the kids and they should learn to think for themselves and this and that. And uh, then he attempts a ritual in his hotel involving candles and he accidentally sets himself on fire and dies, and Gene Simmons, as a radio jockey, gives him that gives the kid, like, his last known record that was never produced. This box wasn't here before. And yeah, he brings his idol back to life. He's like an evil Satanist zombie. Shotgun shells galore. More and more. And pole. That's like even better than a first aid kit. Yeah, if you fail though, this hallway just fills with enemies. Alright, now what I need actually might be on this floor. The lady of the door. There she is. You can see her arm sticking out. A little confusing that they said it was 3D. It just means that it's... It's a statue at that point, basically. It's a carving or a sculpture. It's no longer a print. Alright, I'm pretty sure we have all we need to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the rings on her fingers. With the disgusting bloated face. Oh. What's that? Is that for a weapon? Oh, is the flashlight. Okay. Picture of a spider. On the hand. 
I mean, it is a hand, James. What was that guy's crazy note saying? Only I know the lady of the door. She's an angel. Excuse me. What's this? I took the director's key, the one to the museum. I hid it behind the praying woman when I went out for the day trip. I picked it up, but I did not steal it. I'm not a criminal. Hmm, a hint. A little hinty hint. Moosey. <laughs> Maybe this is the basement's basement. Hi, right, Maria. Let's get out of here. Head to the museum. What was that? <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, it's Pyramid Head. Oh fuck. No, 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 no. Oh god, get him away from me. Oh. Oh god, he's hitting Maria. Girl, we gotta go. We gotta go, go, go. like you couldn't save Mary. Pretty sure all these rooms are just locked. Oh, that one was open. Aha! He who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. The truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map. Here's a letter and a wrench. Gonzalez Mexican restaurant. And there's the statue. Hospital lobby key. There goes Laura, just strolling out like it ain't no thing. Old oh, book about the history of Silent Hill. That's not useful. I don't have time to stand around reading all this. James lost Mary, now he lost Maria too. 
Marie's dead. I couldn't protect her. Once again, I couldn't do anything to help. Laura's run off somewhere. Mary. What? What should I do? Are you really waiting somewhere for me? Or is this your way of taking? I'm going to find Mary. It's the only thing I have left to hope for. They would have had some voice acting. Alright, with that, I think we're going to end the installment. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.